Sagar the Bully On returning home from the market, Ankita's mother heard her sobbing in her room. It meant that there was again a fight between Sagar and Ankita. Sighing, she kept her bag aside and went inside to check upon her. She asked her daughter lovingly, What happened, my dear? <laughs> Bhaiya has hit me again. <laughs> Ankita said through tears. Sagar was about a year elder to Ankita. Ankita was very innocent. But Sagar kept bullying her all the time. The only way she reacted was by complaining to her parents against him. <laughs> her mother calmed her down by wiping away her tears and asked, Why did he beat you, my dear? Ankita replied, I needed his maths notebook to solve a question which I was unable to solve by myself. While I was taking out the notebook, he came and saw me. He became upset with me for not asking him first <laughs> and slapped me. <laughs> what is wrong with Sagar these days? Why is he troubling his sister so much? I will ask their father to teach him a lesson tonight, muttered their mother. Being a year older, Sagar was supposed to be one class ahead of Ankita. But he had lost a year at school due to a severe illness. Hence, the siblings were studying in the same class. There was always a competition between the two for getting better marks. This was because their father had promised to give a bicycle to the one who would receive higher marks in the final examination. In the half yearly examination, Ankita had secured more marks than Sagar. This had upset him so much that he started treating her very badly. He always tried to find an excuse to scold her or hit her. But Ankita was just the opposite of Sagar. She was very affable and loved her brother very much. She was sad to see the changed behavior of her brother. Sagar hardly listened to her or played with her any longer. One day, Sagar got up late in the morning. He quickly got ready and hurried to the school. In his rush to reach school in time, he didn't eat his breakfast and even forgot his lunch box at home. By the time recess arrived, Sagar was starving. As soon as the bell rang, he rushed out of the classroom to wash his hands. In the process, his hand accidentally hit his bag, which fell down moments after he had left the classroom. Sitting in the next row, Ankita came to forward to pick up his bag. While collecting his things, she noticed that his lunchbox was missing. Realizing that her brother had forgotten to carry his lunch that day, Ankita quickly took her own tiffin and put it in his bag. Returning to his seat, Sagar finished the tiffin without noticing that his sister hadn't eaten at all. The period after lunch was of mathematics. Ankita took out her maths notebook and the pencil box. She saw that her pencil was not sharpened. She reached for the sharpener, but it was not there in her bag. She asked Sagar to lend his sharpener to her. Sagar was upset since morning and refused by saying, I'll not give you my sharpener. Why don't you learn to keep your things carefully? Manu, the student sitting behind Sagar, was observing everything. He was Sagar's friend, but he didn't like the way Sagar behaved with his sister. To make Sagar realize his mistake, 
Manu told him that his sister had put her own lunch box in his bag during recess while she herself remained hungry. Sagar was stunned to know this. He realized that his sister loved him dearly. He felt ashamed of his behavior towards his sister. Sagar went over to Ankita's seat after the period got over and said, I'm sorry, Ankita. I have realized my mistake. I know that you love me a lot. From today, forget it. <laughs> Ankita interrupted innocently. Give me your sharpener, as my pencil is still blunt, and it is the art period now. Sagar was happy. He knew that his sister had forgiven him. He quickly gave her the sharpener with a beaming smile on his face. There was a strong bond between the brother and the sister from that day.